Thank you, Tootsie Doos. I have a spicy sausage ciabatta. No, thank you. Um, can I please get a medium, super skinny blended turtle with an extra shot and that's it? Yeah. Medium, super skinny turtle blender, extra shot. Anything else? That'd be it. Awesome. I'll see you up here. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I'm up bright and early today. It's like just after 7 o'clock. Um, I've gone and I've gotten myself some coffee from Scooters. Um, and I dropped off a wedding present to a coworker that lives near me. And then I thought, well, I'll just mail her the card. The post office is further away from me than her house is. So I just drove over there and popped it in the mailbox so that they'll get it when they get their mail today. And I didn't have to pay, like, pay postage. And I saved gas by not going all the way to the post office. So I'd say that's a win. Um, I just thought I'd take you along for my day today and kind of do like a day in my life just for the heck of it. This is how I'm starting my day with my Scooters blended coffee. This is a super skinny turtle, so they use sugar-free and non-fat um, milk. So I think the last time I looked up the nutrition, this is about five points for a medium. So that's what I'm gonna count it as, and this will be my breakfast for today. So I'm going to go on in, and I'm just gonna take you along with me and get ready for the day. Okay, so I am back home in my beauty room. I would, thought I would just take you along with how I get ready in the morning. Um, I've got, I always queue up like YouTube on my phone. And recently I've just been going back and watching old like Jessica Braun vlogs from like way back in the day, like four years ago, um, just for fun. I feel like it's an escape from all this that we're dealing with right now. You know, coronavirus isn't being referenced, anything like that. So it's just something I like to just have on the background when I'm getting ready. So I'm going to play that and then I will just show you how I get ready. Um, my iced coffee is not holding me over like I wanted it to today and I'm hungry so I'm having kind of a mid-morning snack 
Um, I'm gonna have just a Diet A&W root beer. And then I'm super excited about these. These are fried green beans. I just mixed up like some homemade ranch that I'm having on the side. Um, but these are fried green beans. I found them last night at Target. And this is everything I got. I weighed them. I think it said you could have 14. I wonder how many of these are. This is like 12 with some of them being really big and some being small. So that's why it's so important to weigh your food. Um, I weighed this out on my scale and it ended up being four points worth. Um, plus some ranch that I'm counting for two points. So a six point snack here. Um, and kind of just a more interesting way to get your veggies. So I'm really excited to try these because I love fried green beans. I hope they're not too hot. I made them in the air fryer. Those are good. These are really good. If you like fried green beans, get these. It's the P.F. Chang's brand. Um, I found them in the frozen section at Target, and it wasn't even a super Target. It's like one of the teensiest Targets I've ever seen in my life, and they had them. It did say they were new. Um, these are freaking good. New favorite thing right here, because that's like a lot, and it's, I mean, it's like eating fried food. And I just did it in the air fryer, and they're really crispy and delicious. Oh, yes. Get yourself some of these okay i'm going to make some cookies this is um, a recipe i found um from recipe diaries online it's weight watcher snickerdoodles cookies um it's supposed to come out to two points per cookie um if i make 42 cookies so we'll see how many i actually make out of it but i've got all my ingredients ready so i thought i would um have you bake along with me Okay, in this mixing bowl here, I have a cup of sugar and a fourth cup of butter, and we are going to cream that together. Okay, next I'm gonna mix in one egg and vanilla. This is a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, in this bowl, I have um, one and three-fourths cup flour. And in this little container, I have, or little bowl, I have cream of tartar and um, baking soda, not baking powder. It is half a teaspoon of each. So we're gonna put that in there. My dog is crying because she wants to go out in the backyard with um, the neighbor who is mowing their yard. And I'm not gonna let her because she's just gonna bark at him. Um, okay, so it says just to whisk this together, the flour mixture. And then we're gonna turn the mixer back on and we're gonna gradually add this in until combined. All right, this is pretty well combined. I'm just gonna take a spatula and really get it nice and mixed just to make sure I didn't leave any powder bits anywhere. I don't know how this right here is gonna make 42 cookies. I think that has got to be the smallest cookie ever. If this blob right here is gonna make 42 cookies. I guess we're gonna find out. I'm actually gonna put this in a smaller container or I don't think it'll fit. I don't think it'll fit in my fridge if I leave it in that mixing bowl. So I had to share with you my pugs. Oh good, Franny emerges. I was sitting on the couch with both of them when Pippi decided she was going to be angry with Francis. Not sure why. Um, and she started to growl and both Pippi and Fran like to pick a fight. <laughs> I don't know how I got some of the, the weirdest pugs out there that like to pick a fight, but I did. So since Pippi started it, I put her in her crate. Well, then Fran went in and sat down and I couldn't get her to come out. So she's just been laying in there that whole time, probably like five minutes now. 
that she's just been laying in there looking sad. She even a couple minutes ago just cried. Like, like howled, cried like she was locked up. And she wasn't. She could have been out. Like, ridiculous. Also, I could not figure out why my house smelled so good. Like, it just smelled so good. And this was before I decided to make cookies. Um, it smelled like, like just like baked goods. Something yummy. And then I remembered. I got a new candle. <laughs> And it's apple and oats. So like, duh. Of course my house smelled good. I had a freaking candle burning. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's check on the cookie dough. I think it should be done. It's been in there for like 10 minutes now. So I think we're probably good. Feels kind of firm. Okay, so I have my baking sheet sprayed um, with nonstick spray and I have this itty bitty scoop from the Pampered Chef. So not sure if this will make 42 cookies, but we're gonna find out. Um, so you're supposed to scoop them and then roll it in the cinnamon sugar. Put it on the cookie sheet. Okay, I've got all the cookies done. Um, who else does this? Who crowds the cookie sheet just so you don't have to do like two sets of dishes? Um, I know that's like a super big baking no-no, um, but I just don't wanna wash two pans. And let's be real, I'm not gonna wash them. My husband is, but I know he doesn't wanna wash two pans. So I'm just trying to space them as I can. Um, and now it wants me to take a glass and flatten them out. So I'm just gonna use a drinking glass and just squish them down. This made 33 cookies, so I'm gonna have to calculate the points and see how many points per cookie now that this made 33, because it definitely didn't make 42, but I got close. So we're gonna pop these in the oven at 375. Oh, for only five minutes. That goes fast. So I'll check in with you in a little bit. Is anyone else watching Big Brother All Stars? I'm watching right now. It's a veto night. I don't like Memphis. He can go. He's a jerk. Um, that's just my opinion. <laughs> if you don't agree, okay. Um, I'm fairly new to watching Big Brother. I've only been watching the last like three or four se four seasons now. Um, so I'm pretty new, so I only really recognize like the newest players from the last few seasons, but I think it's gonna be good, but I am not a fan of Memphis. I really wish that um, David and Nicole could figure out a way to turn things around and they could both be safe and they can get rid of Memphis, because he is on a high horse and he don't need to be. And listening to the other players at the beginning talk about him and how they don't agree with his gameplay made me so happy. Like I'm glad that people in the house feel like he's 
being a jerk and not just me being outside the house. Anyways, that was my big brother tangent for today. You guys, look at that sleepy little pug. Isn't she so cute? Oh my goodness. And then I have another sleepy pug over there. Look at that. Okay, I so I just finished Big Brother. Still don't like Memphis. Not happy with how Vito turned out. It is what it is. But Memphis, he gotta go. He's got to go. Bye. Um, anyways, I tried, oh, these are some swatches. Um, of some CoverGirl shadow sticks. I can't get them off. I'm gonna have to use like makeup remover to get them off because I've washed my hands probably like 10 times since I swatched them. It won't come off. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's what those are. I tried the cookies. I think they came up to about three points a cookie. They were super doughy. I think they needed more than just five minutes. I would have liked them to be done a little bit more. Um, they tasted pretty good. I've had better snickerdoodles, but if those are supposed to be like somehow less points, I don't know how because it still had flour and sugar and butter. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was just they were small. They were fine. I don't know that I'll make them again, but I have a bunch of them. And they're really doughy but I don't like a really doughy cookie. I know that's like not the norm. Um, I've got the washing machine going if you hear that. Franny threw up her crate. She was in her bed and she threw up in her bed. Don't know why, but you know. She did. Okay, um, it's like eight o'clock. That's my bedtime. I'm gonna go like wash my face, put on my jammies, get ready for bed. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.